let's learn how to make a gear in Illustrator in this very simple tutorial. We'll start with the ellipse tool, come over to the left hand side, select ellipse and draw out an ellipse on your blank canvas. Once you have your ellipse, click and hold Alt and drag out a second ellipse that's the same size. This ellipse we'll use for the body of the gear. We'll switch the fill to black and we'll turn off the stroke. And then this ellipse we'll use for the teeth. And here we'll keep the stroke black, but we'll turn off the fill. Let's address the teeth first. We'll drag over the body to one side and we'll bring the teeth to the center using the Align to Artboard tool. Highlight the ellipse, make sure the stroke is selected, and then come to your stroke panel, either on the side or under window stroke, if you can't see it on the right hand side. There's a few options here we need to click now to create our teeth for the gear. Increasing or decreasing the weight of your stroke line will give you the thickness of the teeth. Be sure your stroke is aligned to center, and then you want to select dashed line option here and make sure that your align dashes to corners and path ends is selected. This will then keep everything in unison. Now the beauty of this is by using the dash and the gap, we can create as many teeth as we want at a thickness we like and a height and width that we like as well. So feel free to play around with this option until you're happy with the gap that you have, the thickness of the teeth, and also the weight as well, which you can kind of bring up and down. When you're happy then uh, with the teeth of your gears, make a duplicate of this by holding Alt and dragging out so that you can always revisit this part of the process and you can create gears in a number of different styles and shapes and sizes. Once you come back to the center, let's bring the body in now. So I'm gonna use selection to drag this in. I'm gonna highlight these two and I'm gonna use the align to artboard to center these objects accordingly. So once I'm happy with this alignment, I'm gonna take away the teeth for now and focus on the body section. Let's use white fill and no stroke, and I'm going to draw out then the sections I want within the body. So use the ellipse tool from the center, hold out and shift, and I'm gonna draw out the center piece of my gear. And then I'm also going to do a thinner one by swapping the fill and stroke, drawing out from center, and then using my stroke options to make this a little thicker. When I'm happy with this, highlight that, object, expand, fill stroke, okay, and now I have a flat shape rather than a stroke. I'm then gonna minus these from the body, so if I highlight all these, make sure these two are on top of this body ellipse, come down to my pathfinder, and I'm going to minus front those shapes, and now I have one complete shape. And if, you, if, I, if I zoom out here, you can see here, it's removed this from the center. Finally then, when I'm happy with everything, I'm gonna grab my teeth. I'm gonna make sure that this is object, expand appearance, and then object, expand. Now I have a flat shape, and then I can center this then with all the pieces here, using the align tool. So there I have it, there's my gear. And then finally then, if I want to create a, a completely flat shape, I can use the Pathfinder to unite the shape. And there you have it, there's my gear. As I said before then, if you bring this back in, you can create a gear with teeth of all shapes and sizes, using the stroke option here, using the dash options as well. And then when you're happy with it then, you can add it to the main body and then make sure you've always got a copy of this on the side of your artboard so that you can create gears of all shapes and sizes without having to go back and redo everything from scratch. So there you have it. There's a very, very simple way to create gears in Illustrator using a couple of different techniques. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and let me know in the comments of any other tutorials you'd like me to see do, either in Adobe Illustrator or other Adobe software. And I will see you next time for the next tutorial. Until then, keep on designing.